Hello, welcome to another episode of No Bank, and it's it's been a while. It's been a while, but it's good to finally be back. And look, look at the graphics. It's it's quite the 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 improvements over what we previously had. But uh, yeah, we're here, and we just uh, unlocked Arison. Uh, so we have a place to actually note our stuff now. And uh, I mean, I might as well just pray. And there we go, replenishing prayer points. And this is where we left off. These are our stats, uh, and uh, yes, now that phase 1 is completed, I wanted to welcome you to phase 1.5. Yeah, look, remember when I said, like, oh, there's two big barriers, one anoting items and the other is death? Now, death isn't a big barrier with the exception of the engineering. So, when it comes to the engineering, there's essentially two ways of approaching this. You either do it at the beginning of your account, or at the end because the engineering doesn't allow you to have anything equipped or anything in your inventory. So I decided, especially given some of the rewards that you can get, that I would tackle it at the beginning of the account. Okay, so since we're gonna be doing the engineering, I gotta get rid of... No, this is the stats. My items... Uh, actually, let me move this so I don't... So as far as our items go, we have a lot of mystic, uh, and we have a ring, we have a staff, and the gothic escape and gothic staff, we can just easily get it back. The rest, I think I'm gonna try an alk. Uh, if they have an alk price. As for the runes, I think I'm just gonna sell them to a store real quick. Okay, I'm not too sure how to do this, but I wanna do a thing. Um, I think it's this. Mine. Oh, I have to. Okay. So I'm not too sure on how to do this, but I think so. Additional bars, pre six, six I think it's that one. Yeah, there we go. We have an extra bar now. Ah, uh, this is. Can I. Can I. Please? There we go. So now we can put it here, and now we have both our abilities, which is the automatic bar, and now this, which I can just essentially do manually. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's really good. Okay, so I think I can unlock this stuff. There we go, 48k. We'll need to buy it back, but honestly, any GP from it is good. Okay, that was only 60 GP. I don't know what the things unlock for. That's 3k. The ring is not all. Oh, uh, Godric. Okay, so yeah, we can just get that stuff back. Another 3k. This is 6. The Amulet of Magic. Uh, 540, okay. Mystic Rope Top. Is 9k, only 9k really? And Dark Mystic is 6k, so not much, but uh, I guess it is something. I'm gonna just sell my runes back, because I don't need them. Um, should have done all. Okay, so now we're ready, and uh, I'll see you in Demonheim. As I've mentioned at the beginning, we are going to be doing the engineering. And yes, that is capable of storing most of our items. The keyword here is most. Let's say we are magic-based and we have a stack of runes in our inventory. Runes are the type of item that you always keep on death, meaning that we either continuously craft them every time we need after a engineering session or we exhaust the supply from stores, which only reset once a day. So for us, it's actually much better to just get the engineering out of the way, rather than having to rely on that storage to train the engineering. But since we are going to be doing the engineering this episode, let's actually talk about a bit how it works. As far as XP goes, you get XP once you finish the dungeon, and the XP you get is based on multiple factors. These factors can be anything like floors being completed for the first time, the amount of enemies killed, the resources exhausted, how many times you died, the many times the, or how many bonus rooms you've explored, the size of the floor, the complexity, etc, etc. So let me take a bit to explain floors being completed for the first time, because this is a bit confusing. Essentially, the engineering has a reset mechanic. Once you finish all of the floors available, you can reset your progress, so next time you finish a floor for the first time, the XP will be balanced between the raw XP of the floor, which for lower levels is very small, and the XP from the last floor you reset. This is why resetting is very important for XP rates. Now, most of our factors do not matter. Size, we will always be doing small floors, so that's consistent. Complexity will always be 6, since that's when most of the skills are unlocked, so we won't be penalized there. And as far as the other things are concerned, we mostly just want to focus on bonus rooms and not dying, as bonus rooms are a huge bonus XP, and not dying is a very good thing to not get heavily penalized. 
obviously we also kind of want to go fast as the faster you go the more XP you get. Now to talk a bit about the dungeon itself, there are 4 types of doors and 2 types of rooms. For the doors we have normal doors that have no requirements to open, guardian doors meaning you need to kill every enemy in the room to open them, key doors which will be unlocked with a specific key found in the floor in another room, Skilling doors, which are doors with a skill challenge requirement that have a specific skill that you need to have in order to bypass them. As for the types of rooms, puzzle rooms can have a normal puzzle that you just complete, or have a skilling puzzle you need a specific skill level to complete. This can also be dependent on the type of floors you are at, as different types lead to different puzzles, which leads me to the boss rooms. This is where the boss of the floor is, and it's always where the dungeon ends. I was gonna make a list of all of the bosses and whatnot, but essentially the TLDR is if it's easy and fast, then it's really good, if it's slow, then it's really bad. And that's pretty much it about engineering, anything other than that is just pure optimization. Okay, so we're at Demonheim, we got our ring back, uh, it, I, I'm so glad I can just get it back without anything, and uh, we spotted an agent, so we got an easy casket, and... Um, okay, Grand Exchange Teleport, I don't know why I need that, but uh, most of this shit's to the symbol, great! Uh, just I don't know if I can disassemble the, the, st the, the scrolls, rather. Oh, I can, that's great. Okay, so something that changed the last time I was around is the fact that I got magic and defense levels, meaning that I unlocked new armors and weapons. Uh, fortunately, I have a or I have a level 60 weapon here uh, that is already binded, and a level 70, uh, essentially, rogue bottom. But I do have 80 crafting, which means I can actually craft up to runic, so whenever I get to 80 I can still do that. And I can actually craft 70, so I'm gonna get myself an offhand and a body, I'm gonna bind them. Uh, as you can see, my bind setup includes level 70, level 80, uh, and yeah, as for weapons, I will have to just seek them out. Uh, because unfortunately, I have one fletching, so I can't actually fletch them. Uh, as for crafting and, you know, armor, at least I can do that, I can have an offhand which helps with accuracy, but yeah, obviously, after level 80, I won't be able to craft the level 90 ones, uh, which, it's fine, I guess, I'll just get them as drops, at this point, it doesn't matter too much, but uh, let's try and get at least level 70. I'm glad to see that at least the monsters are still low level. Okay, and we made the body as well, and we bind it, and then we go to a bind, so bind setup, please, uh, and we put it here. Oh, is it because I have an offhand? Wait, does offhand fucking count? Wait, hold up. There we go. There we go, this is our setup for now, obviously, sometimes I'll get drops that uh, will uh, outshine this, and uh, in that case I will take those, because... Uh, yeah, I, I don't have the crafting level for more, but uh, we should be all set to start doing the engineering then. Okay, so now that I've done some engineering, I have some tokens for some rewards. Now, I did say that I was probably gonna go for some uh, engineering and I uh, would just get on it because I have like two tier of rewards that I need to get, but before I do all of that, I'm gonna be doing something that is actually gonna help me a lot. Now, first of all, what I wanna buy is this one. Unlock Quick Home Teleport Spell. So, during the... that's why I was grinding for tokens. During the dungeon you have this home teleport spell, which when you cast it, it will just cast an home teleport spell. Now, what this scroll does is, it just makes it faster, and that is really good because it helps me move around more quickly. Now, on the vein of moving around more quickly, there's another thing that I need to do, and that's the diaries. I was not gonna grind for the diaries, uh, at least not the elite ones, because I don't need the elite ones. Where, where are the diaries achievements, I think? Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, Demonheim. So, 
I was not gonna grind for the elite, I have all the levels that I need for easy, but to me, what interested me the most is medium. Why? Well, medium essentially allows me to get 40 cosmics and 40 law runes every for free every floor. I can craft law runes, which means that if I get 40 law runes for free, I get this. So I can just teleport around more easily, which will just make everything far, far more faster. For that, however, we need 30 ranged and 40 fletching, I think. Fletching is easy enough. Ranged, I'm probably just gonna get a charge bow, like the quick charge bow from the port serum guy, and I'll just like station myself in the catcombs or something. But yeah, I'm gonna grind that first. I'm gonna do the diaries, and then we can actually resume or uh, the engineering grind. Hello there! Do you have some GP laying around? Are you financially responsible? Would you like to get rid of it? Well, I have the perfect solution for you. My coffee page is open for all of your GP throwing needs. If you donate to me, you get... N nothing, I don't currently offer any rewards, but like... You'll feel good about yourself? Maybe, I think? So if you'd like to support me, check out my coffee page, link in the description. Hello. Yeah, uh, so uh, I kind of lost the, the clips for the 43 flashing. We got like 3 with cutting levels, so uh, productive. And uh, yeah, 43 flashing. Um, and I got also some uh, components. Yeah, some flexible components. Not much, but uh, I could have saved myself a lot of fucking trouble with salamanders back then, but... Uh, it is what it is. We have two more skills level 1 and after that no more skills level 1, so we're really, really leaving the, the early game. But yeah, now that the thing is done uh, and we have all of the things, let's actually do the medium uh, Demonheim achievements and we still have the ring, so we can easily teleport there. There we go, the first achievement, just entering through the wilderness. Easy enough. Also, there's a lobster there for some reason. And there we go, that's another one, done, super easy. Hey, no, I just want to, no, I don't want to, I want to equip, please. There we go. And there we go, another one, although I don't actually fucking need it, so there's that. It's gonna be sold again. Oh, I didn't fucking... Well, I'm just a fucking dumbass then. Okay, now we equip, and now we get the achievement, there we go, I don't need the rest however, so I can just sell it back. Uh, also, just to demonstrate how the teleport works now, you just instantly teleport instead of doing the entire animation, which is much, much faster, and it's gonna help me way, way more. But also, we should uh, get another thing here. Yeah, there we go, uh, converting the thing. Also, a little optimization you can do is, if you click on the door and you search, so if you click on the door, you don't actually waste any ticks going through the door. It's just a, it saves you like a tick or two. It's nothing too big, but uh, overall it can actually save a lot of time. Okay, so we're here at the boss. So if we summon the thing, and now I, if I fit him to give him, yes, okay. And now I should also get another for the summoning familiar attacking. Yes, there we go. And now we should get another achievement for completing a medium floor. Yeah, 
another achievement for completing a medium floor, so now we should have like two left. Yes, look at the sinkhole, which are timed, so I don't know if there's any active, maybe there is, and complete the Fremenic Saga. So I'm gonna see if there's any sinkhole and I'll be back with the saga completion, hopefully. Whoa, okay, 39 minutes, yeah, that's that's uh, that's gonna be a fucking while. Um, why do we have achievements tied to this shit? Okay, I'm gonna do the saga meanwhile and then I'll, I'll fucking wait for the sinkhole. Honestly, good good fucking thing I'm doing this skill right now because oh my lord. <sighs> right. Is this me or is this fucking bugged? This is fucking bugged. Great Jagex, fucking great. Do I need to do this all again? I didn't even complete this one. Why the fuck did I unlock the next one? Oh, whatever. Oh, my fucking god. Oh, my god. Okay, okay, it's not. We don't have to restart. That's at least that's good. Jesus fucking Christ. That's what I did the other time. Why didn't it fucking work? How long is this fucking dungeon, bro? Wow, well, the two fucking ages. Jesus, yeah, I don't care about fucking anything. Hopefully, I don't need to do this in the future or anything like that, but yes, okay, finally. How long till the fucking sinkhole? Well, yeah, but like, I wanna learn where the fuck it's gonna take place. Fifteen minutes, so that took me almost fucking... What, twenty-five minutes to complete? Fucking amazing. Are you fucking kidding me? Care about fucking anything. Hopefully I don't need to do this in the future. <sighs> okay, there we go. Oh, that's okay just to, to find. Uh, and that's all the easy tasks. Uh, let's claim them. Okay, who do I speak to actually? Uh, drunk and... Okay, yeah. Okay, so what the easy tasks do is, first of all, they give me a free death per floor, so if I die, I don't actually get penalized. Uh, and it might not be much, but uh, honestly, it's pretty decent, especially for lower floors, because my, my combat isn't very high yet. And secondly, I get to choose the boss that I face once per day, which is not that much, but still. Now, the mediums is what we're actually looking for, and I put this on... I mean, the engineering, fuck it, we're already doing it. But yes, okay, the first one's done, so I'm gonna have to do the second one now, which... Uh, 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 let's do that first, so I can get it out of the way. Alright, I can't use the fucking ring, so... Uh, this is a pain. I really hope I don't need any more fucking sagas after this, because... Uh, oh boy, if I do. So I just now learned that these are different every time, so uh, that's gonna be fun. That's not where I wanted to go. Fuck me. <sighs> okay, it's so hard to go fucking diagonally on these ones. Go diagonally, bro. There we go. That wasn't so hard. What? I miss? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do this again. Thank you. Holy shit, that should be it. Give me the fuck. Thank you. Thank you. Just gonna put it in range. Fuck it. I don't care too much. Hey, that's two levels. Thank you, I guess. Okay, finally we can fucking move on. Oh my god, thank you, finally, holy shit, so much just to get that fucking pebble, oh my lord, never, like, I'm so thankful that fucking Jagex just uh, did this amazing thing of just absolutely requiring just stupid fucking achievements for her, man. Oh, you can do sinkholes? Oh yeah, just go like, enter like, six resource dungeons in six minutes, why not? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, one of them requires a fucking amulet that you dropped because you're UIM! Oh boy. There we go, what a 
pain in the ass, holy shit. Hey, I remember this from the free to play days. Oh, it's got 15 run crafting, okay. Thanks, I guess. Okay, that's another shipment. I don't think I need any of that anymore. There we go. Another one. That's so fucking gruesome, what the fuck, Jagex? Oh, thanks for the XP. Okay, there we go, we got the fucking beast mode. Okay, four remaining, and now these four, I mean, this I need RNG, this I can do, and these I'll need uh, both cosmic runes and low runes drops, because I can craft them, and these I'll need a, both an altar and a frost dragon in the same... Uh, in the same floor because I can't craft an altar. So I'm gonna do a large one for now uh, and I'll check. Hopefully, I get them. Oh, yeah, we also have the aura here. Oh, there we go, another aura important. So another one, and now we're three, I think. Yes. Okay, there we go, another one. We're down to two. Oh, okay, low runes, low runes. So now I just need cosmic and uh, we can do it. Okay, give me the bones. Where's the nearest altar? I got more fucking law runes, that's that's not what I wanted, okay. And that's another shipment then. And we're down to one. So unfortunately I didn't get any uh, cosmic runes and yeah, this is the problem with running floors. I, I never understood this about the engineering, it's supposed to be for every level, but look at this. I can't access any of those doors because I don't have the fucking skills for it, so it's like, oh yeah, you can do this skill at level 1, but it's gonna be a fucking pain. Uh, anyway, I mean, does this work? I don't think it does, because I think it needs to be your own, but yeah, rip. Ah, fuck, I'll, I'll need to, maybe I'll run another big floor and hopefully I'll pray for better RNG. Oh, I think- okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, oh my fucking god, finally, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. So I have- I can finally- finally create this shit now, and then I just drop it, and... Oh, no, okay, that's the mercenary leader, but regardless, I can just drop that, and, uh... Teleport away from the boss, okay, fuck, that took too long, man. Oh, and I got more cosmic runes, that's- that's amazing. Well, now- now at least I can make a mis- well, I can't because of the law runes, but fucking hell. Right, to no fucking cosmics previously, and now I get fucking two drops. And I got more low runes. Oh my lord, this game sometimes. Okay, so, I'm gonna drop my git stone there. I'm gonna go to the group green stone, I'm gonna get to the boss, I'm gonna start fighting it, just in case, just in case, you know, just in case. Fight it, and now I teleport away. There we go. Medium tasks. Let me just finish the boss and then I'll explain why I wanted to do those. Can you not do that? Oh my, that's fucking annoying. Okay, there we go. This can also go in fucking... I mean, I should probably put this in herb, not the engineering, but uh, still. Okay, so the reason is why I wanted the medium diaries is because if the easy ones give me a free death, the medium diaries give me... You guessed it, law runes and fucking cosmic runes, which will make these so much faster, like running floors so much faster, because I can actually drop negate stones and I can just teleport to them. Uh, I'm not gonna do the ards or the elites, primarily because I don't think they are worth, worth it. I don't remember what the ards give, but I know that the elites allow you to create another gate stone, so you can have two gate stones at a time. However, for the most part, I think that for this grind, I'm mostly gonna be doing small floors, at least until I get the Gradient outfit, and then we can proceed with, uh, like, large floors, although... Wait, let me just check something. Uh, yes, create a party. Uh, climb down. Yeah, so, mostly I'm just gonna be doing small dungeons. Uh, large dungeons are typically more XP, especially if you do the ones that you can, like uh, when uh, when you're down in the floor. So right now my IS are occult, so I could technically, or it would be more XP to do uh, large floors. But the problem is, and as you can see with my stats, it gets really fucking annoying when you just can't open doors because you know, oh, you're level 15 rune crafting. Well, you should be 103. You know, it's, it's just it gets really annoying. So I don't know. I'm gonna just try small floors. And, uh, yeah, I'll just... maybe I'll stick to them, I don't know.
Look at that beautiful level, the most important level of our grind. Uh, no, not really. So I'm just sort of gathering, uh, you know, stuff from the skilling nodes. Because level 90 is actually a huge level where we can actually get 4 bond items. Which will be the maximum of bond items that we can get until, well, fucking 120, but we're, we're not doing that. Uh, so, yeah, I just need a couple more GP and then I should be able to get... I Stop board. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so as you can see, bind setup. Currently we have three. Technically we have four because you know uh, this is like the the off end. But yeah, we have three items. We're gonna have the hood actually uh, because you know is the strongest one outside of everything that we can get. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be pretty good for us. Let me just sell this and sell this. And so this, 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 and we should be able to get one more, and we should be able to get like a thread and a raven needle, so I need to actually spin it. And there we go, back to hood, and we craft it, and we bind it. There we go, and then we go to our bind setup, there it is, take, and look. I swear I did not set up for that, like, that's just a random achievement I got. Uh, uh, probably, like, Hard Diaries or something, if I had to guess. Um, okay, maybe not. What? Okay, I guess it was just a random achievement. Cool, anyway, uh, point being, uh, any, like, upgrades actually, you know, help. So, you know, the Elm is really good on that. And uh, yeah, from this point onward, I actually will be able to, or I will have to actually scavenge shit on my own, because uh, I don't really have the crafting level to craft anything above the Ecto thing, so yeah, next rune and whatnot, but uh, I'm not worrying, because as soon as I have the magic level, the warped floors will start giving me monsters that will drop these items for me, but uh, yeah, so uh, final stretch, Let's let's finish this out. Hey, I've never seen a ferret room like this. Pretty small. That should get us... yeah, 95. Ooh, 10k XP drops for the first floor. Yeah, that's that's how much we've... we've scaled. Three coffins rooms, back to back to back. Talk about fucking diversity, huh?
You know, I really love just uh, logging in sometimes and just there's a penguin and there's a, oh, there's a reward casket and sure, I'll, I'll re-roll it, fine. I actually just got the fucking pet and uh, there it is. L look at him, just a, l a little, little guy, the, the Naruto run. Look at him doing the Naruto run. Okay, there we go, this is huge because we're pretty much just about... Oh, look at that, all of the confetti and everything. And that is level 99. 